Ladies and gents, it's Halloween season. Today BSG released an update which was supposed to be a technical patch and after that they posted some notes on their Twitter. Basically the note is very simple, you can uh, read Bakizi's translation if you want, but overall it says that Tegila found that Tegila slash hammer on factory and he heard that Tegila is not happy. And yeah, he's like, yo, what's up? What's happening um, with Tarkov and uh, Halloween? And I hope you're safe. So right now we're getting we're getting Halloween events. Uh, there's a couple of them which I want to cover. First of all, um, Tegila spawns on every single map. As far as I understood from Reddit, there are a bunch of uh, different posts saying they they people people send Tegila on labs. They send Tegila on um, customs. They also send Tegila with Killer on interchange at the same time. And Tegila actually looks pretty sick now. So instead of using Sledgehammer, Tegila uses Slythe. I'm not sure I know how to pronounce that. Uh, but yeah, his Sledgehammer. Oh shit! His, his Sledgehammer been replaced. Um, also, we got, we got new traders. Well, not really new traders, like zombie traders. I think the art is uh, absolutely astonishing. It looks, uh, it looks terrific. I love it. Um, secondly, we are getting a new item, which is a pumpkin with sweets. And whenever you open it, you get juice, sugar, cola, alenko. I haven't seen that item myself yet. I tried to find it on the flea market, but nobody was selling it. Let's double check now. No, nobody's selling them. People are selling usual pumpkins, which you can use as a helmet. It's level 2 with low ricochet chance. Uh, you can't wear any headset with it. Uh, but it works as a flashlight. When you wear this helmet, there is some orange light which is in front of you and helps you see better. Uh, fun addition, yep. Alright, the next thing is actually hideout. If you go to hideout now, there is an option to uh, swap to Halloween decorations. And I think it's actually enabled uh, by default after you update the game. And there are a bunch of different bats and pumpkins located around hideout. You can run around, have fun. Um, it looks it looks very atmospheric. There's also a bunch of blood on the walls, uh, and some 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 places been replaced. For example, the there's a whole marked circle with um, with a witch's um, thing, stick, whatever you call it, um, pumpkin. And apparently, there is also a new TV video, which you can watch. I think it might be one and a half, maybe two minutes long. So feel free to check it out if you want. Uh, it might lead to a new event. I also have a feeling that BG might do a proper exclusive event on the 30th or 31st of October. And um, yeah, there might be there might be some other Easter eggs in the hideout. I'm not sure if people found them yet. Happy happy hunting. And there's other couple of things I want to cover. Whenever you go into the raid as a scav, you get a bunch of random debuffs. Uh, for example, there is energy recovery debuff, and it also says that there is there is a chance to get random effects during the beginning of the raid. I'm not sure if you can get buffs as well, or it's only to do with debuffs, but there we go. And as this is just the beginning of the events, I think there might be something else to it. I don't think uh, it's over yet. We're definitely getting something something new later on, so uh, stay tuned. And uh, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you learned something cool about the events. Welcome back to Tarkov if you haven't played in ages. And yeah, give this video a thumbs up to boost the algorithm and sub to the channel to not miss the future news and the content. Thank you.